Okay, so let's say now I give you another expression. So this is the original expression given to you. So how can we sketch this particular graph? As last time for the expression where there is three, the total variable there is three, we have the bool where the general function is z equal to x squared plus y squared. And we have a cone where we have a square root of x squared plus y squared. And we also have a sphere. Okay. But nothing here which similar as this one. Unless we modify. We, we need some modification so that we know what kind of surface that we have. But again, you have to back to the original expression where z here can be positive, can be negative. Okay? Because that is the original expression. z can be positive, z can be negative. Because when you square that, the value here is always positive. So mathematically, correct. Because the right side always gives you positive value. Okay. But once you have this, so you will get stuck unless you do some modification, which means that you have to square root both sides. When you square root both sides, okay, when you put the square root both sides, and you will have um, okay, so when you square root both sides, so We have x squared plus y squared. And since z can be positive and z can be negative, we have to put both sign. Okay? So now, which one it has a similar form? So as you can see, it looks like we have the cone. But for the cone that we have discussed before this, we have only positive square root. No negative sign. So the value of z is always positive. And we have... For this, the sketching of this, we have always a kun. Kun cave up and along z. Along z. How about this one? Okay, so if we ignore the negative, we have a kun kun cave up, right? We just have positive square root. And at the same time, we have negative. When we have negative, we have another cone. We have another cone. So this is the ne negative z. So we have this cone. And that is the cone. So meaning that for this, for this particular uh, expression, where it can be transformed into this, and the sh the graph of that is this concave, the cone concave up and down. So how can we have this? Okay, in exam, let's say you are given this one, so it is enough for you to just provide me this because you are using you are using some something that you know before this, so it is acceptable. Okay, but maybe you want to. Just explore, okay, why we have this one. So, then we go back to the process where you have to provide the traces and so on. Which means that here we said, um, maybe we have to set x equal to 0. So, what happens when you have x equal to 0? So, you set x equal to 0. So, on z y plane, then what can you have? So, you have z squared equal to y square which means that when you square root both sides so then you will get um, square root plus minus because that can be negative as well and y square and since the same the same okay the similar 
um, justification why we should consider the negative gradient here because why here you can rewrite that to be minus y squared as well right okay so meaning that you can have from there you have plus minus uh Okay, what I'm trying to do is, I just want to uh, show you how can we have this particular shape. So, here, uh, when you um, square root both sides, so, since this is the original expression, after we simplify, after we substitute x equal to 0, um, so z can be positive and negative. So, y here, the value of y itself can also be negative as well, right? Because whatever value of y, um, it can be, it can always be positive because we have a square here. So it can be either this one or this one. So then we have two possibilities, whether y here positive or y here negative. So after we simplify these two forms, so this one is for this. Okay, you can see that the square root and the square gone. We only have this or another possibility we have this and then we have plus minus y but if we uh, expand this you will end up to the same one plus minus y so now after we simplify the form where by taking into account that z can be positive and z can be negative so we have this one okay so this one is in line with our uh, uh, with our expectation that that can be also positive and that can be also ne negative. Okay, so that is the line that we want. That is the line that we want to sketch. So you have a straight line, positive gradient and negative gradient. So that's why you can have the. Uh, this is for that y plane, and I'm sure if you, uh, if you provide the trace on the x plane where you set y equal to zero. When you have the z equal to x squared, so we have the same explanation. So what you can have on z x plane, you will also get the similar line, which is that one and that one. So now when you are uh, standing along x axis, you can see this. And when you are standing along y axis, you can see this. So, meaning that if you combine these traces, you will get this. Okay. But how can we know the shape from when you are standing along the z-axis? So, the same procedure, you have to substitute z equal to uh, 0. But let's now look at what happened if you put z equal to 0. So, the equation becomes x squared plus y squared. Equal to zero, meaning that you just have a dot. So you just have a, a dot on y x plane. And you can see that from here, right on the floor, it's just a dot, which is at the origin. Okay. But now, um, since that can be positive, since that can be positive and that can be negative. Okay. okay, so now we increase the height of z or we decrease because z can also be negative. So z equal to 1 maybe. So we replace into the equation. So we have x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Similarly, if we put z minus 1, we have x squared plus y squared also 1 because z then squared. So this one will share the same shape. For z1 and z minus 1, we have a circle with radius 1. And then when z equal to 4 and z equal to minus 4, and you will get another circle. Okay, so uh, what can you do here? So you can label, so right on the floor, you can see a dot. 
and this one for z equal to 1 and minus 1 and maybe this one z equal to 4 minus 4 and so on okay then when you combine them together so x y and z so when you are standing over here from x so z on z y <coughs> on z y you can you can see the x shape here right the x shape here z y plate so you can see you can see that yeah you can see that okay and then when you move over here and you can see another x shape on the x plane where that one will be um okay another x shape on the x plane and then uh your level curve here when what can you see when you're standing right over here and you're looking down you can see uh right on the floor it is just a dot and then when you increase the height of z it is equal to one they have the similar circle the size of circle and when you increase that you can have another larger circle and you can see that uh, it's just like the two cone upside down okay one is con concave up and the other one is concave down okay so this is the graph of z square equal to x squared plus y squared